We are continuing our study in the Gospel of Matthew. In this study, we are going to look at Matthew chapter 1 and verses 20 and 21. He was pondering this step when a messenger of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take your wife Mary into your home, for what she has conceived is out of the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call him Jesus, for he, it is he who will save his people from their sins. One of the great events in the Olympics is the marathon. The race is about 26 miles or 42 kilometers. If you look at the history of the Olympic Summer Olympic Games, this is one event that is the men's marathon that has been run in every Olympics. Now, if you look around the world or in your country, you will find marathons run. The Olympics is the pinnacle, the greatest marathon race, but not the only one. Now, if you or I were to wake up one day and decide to run a marathon, what will we do? Go out and run to a certain place because Google Maps tells us it is the distance of a marathon away? Now, unless you and I are already on a running program, you do not decide in one day to run a marathon. In order to run a marathon, you will have to commit to a number of intermediate steps which may take months or even years before you will be able to run a marathon. Joseph in our verses was told to go run a marathon. He was to ask to invest his life and Mary and the baby she was now carrying. Not for a few days, not for a few weeks. He was to take his life and give it not in part or for a time, but all of it to this baby and to this woman. When I think of a marathon, the one attribute that is needed is stamina. Now, it is not quite accurate, but for illustration purposes, contrast a marathon with a sprint. A sprint is all out for a brief few moments, and then the race is done. In that sense, there is no stamina required. A great sprinter like a great marathoner requires a great amount of training in preparation for the race. But it is not the same type of race. Joseph was not called to be a sprinter, but a marathoner. It is easy to reduce the life of faith to a decision I made for Christ at the end of a church service or in a Bible study or in the quiet of my bedroom. There is nothing wrong with that if that is not all that there is to our faith. In a word, Joseph would need stamina to do the task that was before him. He was not just to be in the picture until the ninth month. It is no different for you and for me. To reduce the faith to a decision made in one point of time is to reduce the faith to a sprint. No, the life of faith is a marathon. Joseph is a man of mystery. He was called to run a marathon. Now think for a moment what this means. He would not be ready to run that marathon on that day if he had not done the preparatory work beforehand. There's no mystery at this point. The task before him was something that he had to prepare for. Now, can I tell you how he prepared to run this marathon? No, I cannot tell you. You see, Joseph in the years leading up to this moment was building up his stamina in the faith. He was doing what was needed to develop his spiritual muscles. You see, it was not just that Joseph made a decision for the faith way back then. Joseph models the need for us to be ready 
when the call of God comes to us.